Now that we have all of our classes, our fees, and our show fees set up, we're going to go ahead and set up our second slate of classes, and then I'll show you how to copy it so you don't have to manually enter them every time. So I'm going to add another show. Now, my second show starts on the 15th, so I'm going to do my show number is 02152024, and that is also my master show for that slate. So that slate is going to be all maintained in this show. I'm going to add the manager in again and the name of the show. Now these classes start on the 15th and they end on the 18th. Now my first show here that it's asking me is how we're going to connect these all for billing and back number purposes so you can maintain all your entries from one place and you don't have to switch back and forth for everything just for results. But so I'm going to type, make this the first number I set up. And you'll see that the short label just switched to two, which means I got that number correct. Put my location in, my circuit award model. And I'm going to update my short label to this. And now I want to put my fee multiplier to two so that it multiplies my fees right. Because what it's going to do is it's going to divide the class fee by two, or by from the previous one, and then it's going to multiply it. All right, I'm not going to add any classes. I'm going to go back to list shows. I'm going to exit, and I'm going to go to utilities and duplicate classes. Now I can select which show I want. I want to copy this show to this show and I would click copy. Now if I had already set up my subsidiaries it would have been on that list but I like to do that later. So now I have my two shows, I have my classes there, and I can add my subsidiary shows now. So your subsidiary show numbers are the information that you get from your approving association. So AQHA or APHA, Palomino, whichever association you're working with. Um, so I have my numbers from AQHA that I'm going to use. That's my show number, and it's connected to the first slate of classes, which is going to be that number that I used. You'll see the information popped up. My short label matches, which is very important. I click OK, and now you'll have the classes that are available to use. I'm going to include all of them and click OK. Now I have my classes. I'm going to add another one for my second set of points or judges. It's still part of my first slate there, first round of classes. All this information stayed the same like it's supposed to, but this time I only want to include the AQHA classes, so I'm going to go one by one, and then I'm going to click OK because my NSBA only goes to the first judge in my instance. That might be different for you, but that's how you can tell which one gets what. I'm going to set up my final two subsidiaries for my second round of second slate of classes. So this is going to be now I change this number because it's my second show, my second my second round of classes. I'm going to include all this time and click OK. And then I'm going to go back and do it one last time. And I'm only going to include my AQHA this time. classes. And that's setting up your shows and your subsidiary shows.